Hallelujah. Shalom. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakah Hakudash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakariyam Shah, Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Starting with 144,000 on down. The Lord's predestined ones, preordained to be saved in these last days. And I'm going to keep blowing the trumpet on this one right here. It's got to be a, maybe my third or fourth video about this. You know, I've been seeing this um, for the past, I say, 30 days now, which makes a month. A month would consist of uh, 29 and a half days. And we based our our um, our days, our hours, you know, on the lunar calendar. You know, we determine our, our Sabbath days, our high holy days. Basically, how we move forward in the future when you're dealing with time based off the moon. Okay. Now this has been a lot going on in the sky, man. You know, and this is uh Wayan Wayan News, you know, which is um if I'm not mistaken, they based out there in India. But it's big, it's just as big as RT news, if not bigger. That's Russian television. They removed them. You know, uh, once Russia went in with Ukraine, so you can't get RT, nothing here. Germany, RT, Australia. I'm sure if you dig on some other sites, you can probably pull them up. <clears throat> but this news channel right here, you know, they, they constantly banging out the world news, as you can see. And um, they did a segment on it about the hole in, this, in the sun. Now, when I was looking at this hole, I'd say about 30 days ago, I mean, it wasn't as big as what they're reporting now. I know when I first saw it on um, third phase of moon, they threw out a statement. They said you can fit like 27, 2,700 planets in it or something like that. That's humongous. I know the sun is big in itself, but I mean, I was like, wow. So that turned me on and I started doing research. And then some scientists came out and said that, um, some German scientists <clears throat> said it was double the size of planet Earth, which was, was hell of a big. You know, now as you're gonna see in this report, they're reporting how it, it has grown. You know, and it's just coming from the top scientists. And um, the sun is always known according to them to have something called corona holes that's based on the surface. And they'll get large from time to time, but usually they'll uh, disappear within days, weeks, sort of like fillers. But they said this is something like no other, something we've never experienced, something we've never seen. Why? We know because these are signs of the end. That's why this is very important because they say that... Um, this particular hole that's in the sun, the corona hole, is pointed directly at planet Earth. And it's the reason why it's pointed directly at planet Earth. Now, today is December 26. I would say it had to be about 45, maybe reached them to 50 degrees today. The same thing for December uh, 25th yesterday. Today, December 26. If I'm not mistaken, this whole week, it's going to be in the lower 40s, upper 40s. You know, this is uh, strange weather, nevertheless, for this time of season. But we are in a very, very serious time right now. Very serious time. You know, now our Lord is doing things with the sky. If this connected to the weather, we don't know. But we know that we've been instructed do Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to look up. And this is a, a famous scripture. It's ringing off. And um, and we're going to keep blowing the trumpet on this. Because that this, 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 this thing just blows my mind for some reason. I'm very 
intrigued with what's going on with this sun right now. This is uh, this is Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun. So when you go into this word signs, you know the sun was set up there for signs. And those that's in the know know what the signs are. You, you, you actually go back to Genesis, you know. But this is, uh, Luke, what's that, Luke 21 and 25. It's going to the Greek word for that word, signs. I hope you can hear me. Just getting off this damn plantation, man. I'm tired as hell. These plantations are wearing us down. This is signs. Strong's G, 4592, say Mayan. Say Mayan. A sign is a mark or a token. That by which a person or a thing is distinguished from others, right? A sign, a prodigy, a potent, an unusual occurrence, transcending the common course of nature, of miracles. So this sign is dealing with miracles and wonders by which God or Yahweh authenticates the men sit by him or by which men prove that the cause they are pleading is Yahweh's. So these are the signs that's going to be coming off the sun, moon, stars. And it's not for everybody to read. This is only for the men of the Lord. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. They found in all kinds of ships that's parked on the moon right now. <laughs> I mean, big ships. It's going down up there in them heavens, man. And in the stars. Stars are lining up. They just had that great uh, uh, conjunction last year. You know, according to Esau, all kind of retrogrades. You know, them stars was put up there. You know, for the children of Israel, we always read the stars, you know, but we read it in in a, in a, in a, in a righteous mind frame. Not all the time. You know, we know we went off, <laughs> you know, way off with dealing with the heavens because the Lord got to show you that understanding. <clears throat> but this is uh, Job 38 and 31. Let me just show you something about the stars. Job 38, 31, because uh, Issachar, the tribe of Issachar was allotted. What is that, 38, 30, You know, that um that permission to read those stars. But this is Job 38 and 31. Can you direct the movement of the stars binding the clusters of the Pleiades and loosening the cords of Orion? Can you direct the sequence of the seasons or God the bear with her curbs across the heavens? Do you know the law of the universe? Can you use them to regulate the earth? And that's what it was for. And we're going back to that. Like I said before, we use the moon you know, for our calendar. That's how we keep track of the, uh, the number of days and the weeks and the seasons. But when you go into this Pallades, right? Constellation of the seven stars. So, you know, the blue letter goes in a little bit on it. And Orion, this is Orion here. Strong's here. H, 3685. Cassiel. Cassiel. The general, the, the constellations, Right? It says constellations, Orion Pacific, Orion constellations, you know, notable. So the Lord always, you know, documented those constellations. They up there to be dealt with, with the Holy Spirit. But the men, you know, we not saying, I'm not saying, at least me, that, you know, I'm professional. I get outside and start. Nope. What I'm saying is that I, I'm watching it. My spirit is just intrigued by what's happening in the heavens. And we were instructed to look up in this day. 
So this is Luke 21, once again, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun. So there's things going on up there that the men of the Lord should know about at this time. And in the moon and in the stars and upon earth, the stress of nations, things happening in the earth too. With perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. And those that are in the know, you know, let's say sort of like preppers, they know something's coming, but the elites, you know, they got something called the James Hubble telescope. This thing's supposed to be seeing, phew, what, light years or something? I can't even explain. You can look up this telescope. They spent, I mean, billions on this telescope. Supposed to be looking millions of miles into our universe. What are they looking for? You mean to tell me they don't see these ships out there? And they not scared? That's why I said their hearts going to be felt in them. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the son of man coming in the cloud with that ship. With power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, as they are, then look up. So our instructions is to look up. So when all these things begin to happen, stand and look up for your salvation is near. And that's what we're doing. we be checking out the heavens because uh, at the end, <laughs> they're let going up in the air anyway. Scientists have detected a hole in the sun. This hole is the size of 60 years and it has opened up on the sun's surface and has been classified as a coronal hole. It was first spotted on the 2nd of December. Within 24 hours, the hole widened and it reached a width of around 800,000 kilometers. Scientists were surprised also, a little scared because this hole started spewing streams of unusually fast radiation. Things became all the more scary on the 4th of December. That's when the hole started pointing directly at our planet. The radiation began coming directly towards the Earth, which meant our planet had to prepare for a geomagnetic storm. In other words, a disturbance in the Earth's magnetosphere. Now, what's that, you ask? Well, this is the space around the Earth that's dominated by our planet's own magnetic field, as opposed to the magnetic field of any other cosmic object. A disturbance in this space, the magnetosphere, can impact the functioning of artificial satellites that can trigger radio blackouts on ground it can cause power grid fluctuations what a geomagnetic storm can also do is affect migratory animals which is why scientists decided to issue a little warning on the 5th of december now nothing major has happened so far this week but scientists are remaining on alert for starters they don't know how long this hole will last the previous ones have lasted for more than a solar rotation, which is about 27 days. But like I was telling you, this coronal hole is unlike any other. One, this gap is near the sun's equator. Coronal holes normally are around the sun's poles. Two, this giant coronal hole has appeared at a very unusual time. The sun is nearing what's called the solar maximum, or the peak of the sun's activity cycle. Each cycle lasts nearly 11 years. Now, our star is nearing its explosive peak. It could begin any time in early 2024. Now, gaps don't normally appear at this time in the cycle. They're more common during the solar minimum, which is what makes this gap a big mystery. But the good news, geomagnetic storms do not affect humans directly. The second good news, this hole should rotate away from the Earth soon. So, keep an eye on it, but don't worry. Not right now, anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's, me they, you know, it's funny because they wake you up just to put you back to sleep. It's okay. It's a hole in the sun. Don't worry, but do worry. <laughs> he said, don't worry, but do worry. They don't know what's going on. They just want to go home so they play the fool, man. At the end of the day, they want to go back to what they think is normalcy. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. 
least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his of his devices. So that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil schemes and uh, misinformation is part of his evil schemes. Nevertheless, you can't tell me something ain't going on with this weather pattern. And it's de definitely directed from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You got people out here with t-shirts on. This is unnatural. And I'm up here in the East Coast, man. New Jersey. <clears throat> you know. So the Lord is not showing signs of the times for his men right now. Prepare. Our Lord is on his way. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakaha Kudash. Shalom.